hey guys and once again i am your friend amit and in this video we are going to learn about the capacity estimation back of the envelope calculation for system design and this video is a part of the system design series which we have started and you can find the playlist link in the description below so now let's get started this is the timeline of this video first we will learn what is capacity estimation and then we will learn why do we actually need it and then finally how do we do it and which is the most important thing first let's see what it is when it comes to system design in very simple words we can say it's a quick and approximate calculation of storage and the bandwidth that gives us further insights about our system so basically what we do we do the calculation of storage and the bandwidth required for that particular system so when we do the estimate for the storage space this will help in knowing how much space will be required or needed to store the content for that particular system and when we talk about the network bandwidth this will help us in calculating the number of machines required to cater the estimated bandwidth for that particular system so this was all about what it is exactly so now let's move to the next thing which is why do we need it we need it because when we do the estimation uh, it gives us the information about the things like how much storage will be needed how many machines will be required for example how many servers will be needed for us it also tells us the design architecture can fulfill the functional requirement or not for example the number of supported users for example the latency which we expect to be it can also tell about what scale is expected from our system so that later we can think of how we are going to do the scaling partitioning load balancing caching and etc overall it gives us a rough estimate so that's why we do it now let's discuss the most important thing how do we do it here we are going to take the example of tutor to understand it and this is the demo of tutor as you can see here i am scrolling through and consuming the content tweets by the other users and let's assume that for the tutor we have total number of users 600 million right and please note that this is just an assumption from our side for the sake of understanding out of that we can assume that we have 200 million daily active user and then if we consider 25% of the users tweet and they make two tweets per day on an average if we calculate the total number of new tweets per day it will come like this 200 million which is our daily active user into 25% of them because only the 25% of them actually create the tweets and then into two because two tweets by a user per day it means it will come around 100 million tweets per day so it means that we have 100 million new tweets on a daily basis now let's calculate the number of tweets views per day suppose one user consumes 100 tweets per day by scrolling like this right so the total number will be 200 million into 100 because 200 million is a daily active user and one user consume 100 tweets per day it means it will come 20 billion views per day and this is a huge number of views per day which is 20 billion and now we have the numbers with us and now we need to estimate two things first storage and the second one is bandwidth so let's first estimate the storage requirement per day for 100 million new tweets per day we can assume that 100 characters per tweet on an average uh, for that if it requires 2 bytes per character uh, then it will become 200 bytes plus assuming 50 bytes extra for the other data like user id liked by and etc so that will make it to 250 bytes it means that we need 250 bytes per tweet as we have 100 million new tweets per day we will multiply it with 100 millions into 250 bytes and we get 25 gb per day the calculation will be like this 100 million into 250 divided by 1000 into 1000 into 1000 because we need to convert 
the byte into the GB. So it will come 25 GB per day. But we haven't considered the tweets with the images and the videos. Now we can assume that one out of 20 will have an image associated with it. Each image will be of 200 KB on an average. Similarly, we can assume that one out of 100 tweets will have a video associated with it. Each video will be of 2 MB on an average. So let's calculate it and we can do like this 100 million into 200 divided by 20 because 1 out of 20 and then converting the KB into TB 1000 into 1000 into 1000 plus for the video part 100 million into 2 MB which is the 2 MB and then divided by 100 which is 1 out of 100 into 1000 into 1000 because we want to convert the MB into TB so here if we calculate we will get 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3 TB per day. So the total final storage will be 25 GB plus 3 TB and we can call it nearly as a 3 TB per day because at the end we are just doing the estimation, right? And now we know that we would be needing 3 TB of storage per day based on our current calculation for the 200 million daily active users. But what we can do more here, we can add more things like followers, comments, retweets, etc. and calculate accordingly. We will do all of these when we create a dedicated video for the tutor system design. And so please subscribe to our channel for the updates. And this way we can do the storage estimation for any application. And this was all about the storage estimation. Now let's move to the next part, which is the bandwidth estimation. From the earlier storage calculation, we know that TB of data will be coming to our server per day. So when we convert it into MB per second, the incoming data to the server will be nearly around 23 MB per second. And we can do the calculation like this 2 into 1000 into 1000 to convert the terabyte into MB divided by 86400 to convert the day into second. So 23 MB per second is the incoming data to the server. Now let's calculate the outgoing data from the server, which is to the client. As we have already calculated that we have 20 billion views of the tweets per day. And we also know that one text tweet, it takes around 250 bytes. So for the text, we can calculate like this 20 billion into 250 bytes, which will come around 60 MB per second. So we can see the calculation here 20 into 10 to power 3 into 10 to power 6 which is a 20 billion into 250 bytes divided by 86400 which is the seconds in a day and then 1000 into thousands to convert that byte into the MB. So it will come nearly around 58 but we can round it to 60 as we are just doing the estimation. Now let's calculate for the image as we have already assumed that one out of 20 will have an image associated with it. So for the images, we can calculate like this 20 into 10 to power 3 into 10 to power 6, which is a 20 billion into 200, which is the 200 KB divided by 20, which is one out of 20 into 86400, which is the seconds in a day and then 1000 into 1000 to convert the KB into the GB. So it will come nearly around 2.5 GB per second. Now let's calculate for the video as we have already assumed that one out of 100 will have a video associated with it. So for the videos, assuming that when we show five videos to the users, users only watch one out of them. It means they watch only one video out of five videos shown to them. We can calculate like this 20 into 10 to power 3 into 10 to power 6, which is a 20 billion and 2, which is a 2 MB divided by 100 which is 1 out of 100 into 5 which is 1 out of 5 videos user only watches and then 86400 which is the seconds in a day and 1000 to convert the MB into the GB. It will come nearly around 1 GB per second. Finally we can sum up and we can get the total outgoing data from the server nearly is equal to 3.5 GB per second. 
so this is the total outgoing data from the server per day and this way we can do the bandwidth estimation for any application and this was all about the bandwidth estimation and now we know how to do the capacity estimation back of the envelope calculation for the system design and that will help in calculating how much storage will be required and how many machines will be required so that's it for now please like share comment and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video